So I'm back! Woo! I am so glad to be finally filming videos. It felt so weird not filming because it's become part of my everyday type of routine. I always do something for my videos or my blog and I feel like it's so weird not doing that and I'm so glad to be back um, taking baby steps with wearing makeup. So. With that, I decided to create a very summer inspired makeup. It's still summer, it's still very, very hot pretty much everywhere. It's probably in the 90s right now here in Colorado. So I wanted to do something that's perfect for any time, whether you're at a barbecue, whether you're hanging out in your backyard, whether you're going for a walk at the park or going to like summer festivals and anything outdoorsy, this would be perfect because it's just the right amount of product and makeup to look put together but to look like it took you five minutes and it probably take me a little bit longer because I'm explaining it but if I were to do this I can probably do it in five minutes um, so I will put the list of everything that I use in the description box so expand that I also am doing something a little bit different I'm showing you how I did my kind of beachy waves um, this is a look that I've worn so many times it's so super easy if you have a curling iron if you have a styling with those um, crimpless curling wands, the, the, just the regular wand, you can do this. Um, there's so many other tools. You can even use a curling iron, um, like a bigger curling iron, and then kind of finger comb it so that it gives more of a tousled wave look, and you can get the same look. So I'll show you that towards the end of the video, but for the first part, we're going to go ahead and jump into the makeup. Okay, so we're going to do the entire face. Um, I don't have anything on except a little bit of moisturizer. And I did apply a little bit of my Mali Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. I like to do the sandwich method where I put this down, put my face products on, and then put this on top just to kind of seal it. I am very oily, and still here in Colorado, I am oily. Um, so I just feel like that's a really good product, especially for the summer. So we're going to move straight to the eyes. I don't have anything on except for a little bit of eye cream. And so I'm only going to do one product on the eye, which is the reason why I like this look so much and why I wear it so often. So there's a couple different options. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Shadows. I have two colors that I really love for this look. And the first one is Bad to the Bronze, which is kind of like a bronzy color. Then the other one is called Inked in Pink, which is more of like a soft metallic pink color, which would go with what I'm wearing because I'm wearing um, a black, like a charcoal top. So it goes with that look. If you don't have those or you can't find them or they're out of stock, there's other options out there. You can use the Avon Extra Lasting Shadow Pencils. I did a review on this. I will link that below. Um, but these are cream shadows that hold up really well. Um, they did in Texas, so they will here in Colorado. And if you can't find that or you don't want to order that online, you can always go to your local Ulta and pick up some of the Mali Shadow Sticks. Um, and this one is in Saddle Shimmer, which is just a bronzy color. It has a little bit of some sparkles in there, so whatever you want. I'm actually going to go in with um, a little bit of the Bad to the Bronze from Maybelline. And I just like to apply with my finger. If you want, you can even use um, one of these dome shadow brushes from Real Techniques, which I think I actually might. Um, use that and all you have to do is just pour your brush in there just to pick up a little bit of product it transfers really well from the pot to your lids with a brush like this and sorry if you hear any noise I do have the ceiling fan it gets really hot upstairs so just kind of quickly apply that to your lids and hopefully the camera can pick this up uh, lighting will be a little bit of a work in progress um, because I do have a window in front of me and the sunlight will be kind of different different points of the day. So just put most of the product on your lid and then kind of fade whatever's left on the brush in the crease and up towards the brow. I leave the brow bone um, bare. You can add a cream um, or ivory shade or skin tone color, whatever you want to, um, as your highlight or you can just do what I do and just kind of skip it all together. And I like to kind of pull my lid just a little bit so that I can get that color really nice and thin on the lid. You want to keep it thin to prevent creasing and this color is so beautiful because it has that metallic feel and when you buff it up into the crease it almost creates a little bit of a shadow so it makes it look slightly different than what's on the lid and as you can tell this is a much loved product for me um, these are really great and they're super affordable so two thumbs up for that right <laughs> 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for the eyes. Like I said, it's super simple. You can do some liner. Um, I'm not going to since I'm running errands today and I'm going to be spending some time outside in the backyard. So for me, this is a good stopping point. If you want eyeliner, go ahead and put a liquid liner, some shadow liner if you want. I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to use the Mali Volumizing Mascara. That's my dog. She's trying to jump up on the little seat that I have over there. So I do have to wipe this off. That's one of the things I don't like about it. So I will be doing a review um, of this very soon now that I can actually start wearing makeup again. So that's always fun. So just do, we'll just do a thin, easy layer of this. Um, I like this one because I can just do a little bit of it. And it gives me a really nice wide-eyed effect without having to put so much on. Whereas other mascaras, you really have to build it. So it's kind of like, it's a good thing. It's a good mascara, but then the whole goopiness is not good. So I don't know if it's just mine or if they're all like that. If you've tried this and you've had that problem, let me know um, and see if it's just maybe mine that's just kind of like a, a little bit of a dud because <laughs> um, that sometimes can happen. So super easy here. You can always come back to this and layer it. Um, I'm going also easy as well because this is my first day wearing makeup. I know, it's exciting, right? Um, I haven't worn makeup at all for the almost the entire month of July um, because I've had some eye infections and some, you know, kind of puffiness, swelling. I do still have a little puffiness, but we're getting there. So I'm actually going to move on to my face. Um, as you can tell, I've gotten a lot of sun um, and my face never tans. It just burns and then my freckles get a little bit darker around my nose. So keeping with the whole summer theme, going with a powder. This is the Laura Geller Balanced and Brighten. I also really like the Josie Marin Argan Powder, the matchmaker one. I need to go get some more of that from Sephora. I like to use a flat top kabuki brush like this. This is from Coastal Scents, part of the 22 piece brush set. I will link to that below. So just take a little bit of that and just kind of buff that into the skin. Pretty much your favorite face powder will do the trick. And just buffing away <laughs> so I might actually have to bust out my bronzer because um, I am pretty white <laughs> for my face so maybe I have to come back to that and this is just super easy I don't have to really do much but just buff it in and um, I like to pull it down a little bit so I don't have that line of demarcation on my jawline which that's a clear giveaway that you're wearing the wrong cone of foundation. So we'll come back to that in a minute. If you wanted to use a cream product or a liquid product, you can use a tint and moisturizer. I also really like the uh, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Foundation. I have it in the uh, shade number 115. It's a little bit light um, for me right now, but with some bronzer I can make it work. I like this because it's very thin, it's not very heavy like um, the other one that I use, what is it, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, that's really heavy which is not really ideal for daytime. Maybe at night it's fine but not for me. Okay so for blush I'm gonna actually, let's do the concealer because I'm looking a little crazy. Uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 10 light. Just take some on my finger set that with a um, couple different products. The first one is the Bare Minerals Well Rested that or my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light. I absolutely love this powder. I think I might go with this. It's just perfection um, and I just use a dual fiber brush and just kind of sweep that and it quickly just sets it as a nice little glow to my skin. Not like a radiance, not like I put a product that's a highlighting type of product. It just makes it look very refreshed and then I also like to pull it down into this area here and then also the cheekbones this is really the only thing I use to um, highlight in the center of my forehead and my cupid's bill 
I kind of don't use anything else but this to highlight just because I'm oily. For blush, I'm going to go in with my MAC Peaches. I think it's the perfect summer blush. It's one of my absolute favorite blushes from MAC. Um, I highly recommend that everyone go out and at least swatch it for yourself in person. Um, or just order it because it's really, really wonderful. So I'm going to take that on a fluffy Sigma brush. Just any sort of blush brush and kind of just dust that on the apples of the cheek and then buff it up towards the hairline. As you can see, it adds a little bit of a um, nice peach color. And then it also adds a little bit of dimension to the face by putting it basically in the hollows of your cheek where you normally contour. It's kind of where I like to put my blush and then bring it up a little bit higher onto the apples of my cheek. I just love this blush. It's so pretty. It's perfect. Okay, so I gotta add some mascara to my lower lashes here in a moment, but I do need to do my brows. I'm going to fast forward through that because it takes me a while and I'm kind of out of practice having done my brows in almost a month. But I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Brunette. Then I set that with the um, Tinted Brow Gel in Auburn, also from the same brand. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll meet you back to finish the look. Okay, so my brows are done. <laughs> it took a long time. Um, I do feel like I need a little bit of bronzer, so I'm going to wipe off the brush that I used for my blush. Going with my Revlon uh, Photo Ready Bronzer, and I just kind of mix all the shades together tap off any excess and then I just kind of go up on my hairline just to add a little bit of color. My hair is flying everywhere on my face. And then just kind of go underneath. Basically just all over because I am very fair on my face. Okay, I feel like that was a little bit better. Okay, so for my eyes, I need to finish that with some mascara. I'm using the same one, the Mally one. Hopefully I don't make a mess with this because um, I'm out of my A Cosmetics um, tight line, I think it's what it's called, that I use for my lower lashes. So here again, I'm wiping off all of the excess off of that too. And hopefully I'll stay in focus for this. If not, I apologize. So everything is done except for the lips. Um, I find the perfect product for this is my A Cosmetics. Um, these are the Vitality Gloss Stains. I did post a picture on Instagram about this. I love this. This is the color Je ne sais quoi, which has a little bit of a soft pink, but when you put it on, it turns into a different shade of pink, a little bit deeper. It's going to be slightly different on everyone. Um, they do have it in the stick form that looks like this. and almost I'm almost out but it's pretty much almost exact same color this I feel like the stick form is just a tad bit more creamy more buttery feeling but all in all I still like this product a lot so it comes with a little doe foot applicator so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this I love this stuff it's so good definitely worth the splurge here it's like the perfect color Finally, the trash people are here. It's hard for me to see because I'm upstairs, but I can see the top of the truck. <laughs> it's kind of late, too. It's 12 o'clock. All right, so that is it. See how beautiful that color is? I absolutely love this. I get it at Ulta. Put the link to it below. So that's all you have to do for the summer makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I got my beachy summer hair. What you're going to need is a brush, some hairspray, and a heat protectant, and obviously the curling iron. And I'll put everything below. So you want to make sure your hair is dry and start by spraying it with a heat protectant because this um, curling iron or this barrel that I use gets very hot. And it's a new me and I believe it's the um, 19 millimeter. If not, I'll put the size below. So I'm starting with little sections towards the back um, of the 
hair and I, as you can see I've divided it into two pieces and just wrap it around and it doesn't have to be perfect there's no rhyme or reason as to why I'm curling in the direction that I am I'm just trying to hurry and get through this and I don't leave it on the barrel for very long either so when you get towards this front section you want to make sure that you pay attention to the direction and go away from the face that way the also waves kind of fall the right way and they don't come to your face. So I'm going to just do the other side as you can see again starting from the back working my way towards the front. Really easy and again towards the front curling away from my face. And it takes literally no time at all and just leave it on there for a couple seconds. Let that completely cool. So now that it's cooled you want to finger comb it and that's what's going to give you that tousled wave look and it's just going to basically break up the pieces you can put a texture spray in there, but I'm just going to use my Living Proof hairspray. And I spray from the bottom up just so that I can get a little bit of volume and get more of that lift and that oomph in my hair. You don't have to do it that way. You can just spray it and you'll be done with it. So that's the completed look. As, as you can see, it's pretty messy, but if you want, you can take some clips, crisscross the little um, bobby pins or whatever it is that you want to use, and then that's the completed hairstyle. So I hope that you found this video helpful. As you can see, very minimal products can go a long way. The biggest tip that I can give you is less is more for the summertime. I cannot tell you how many times I've been outdoors with a full face of makeup and wishing that I would have just gone a little bit softer in the eyes, a little bit less on the face. And I feel like this is a really good routine for anyone. It doesn't matter what color your eyes are, or what color your skin tone is. You can find products that are suitable for you. I really love these Maybelline color tattoos. I think that they are really great for what you get, for the amount of product, for the quality of them, for the color ranges that you can find. Um, they're probably less than seven bucks a piece. You can get them on sale all the time at Ulta or even Walgreens and they actually last a really long time, especially for someone like me that has very, very oily lids. I do highly recommend those. The shadow sticks that I mentioned earlier is a great alternative to those if you can't find these. And that's pretty much it. I hope that this was helpful. I will put the list of everything that I use below so that you can kind of go through it and pick whatever it is that you're wanting to maybe write on your shopping list or something. I highly recommend everything that I used. And so thanks for joining me for this video. I hope that you guys found it helpful. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Glamour by Lexi and I would love to connect with you there. Also, if you haven't subscribed, click the link above my head, and I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And I want to extend a very sincere thank you for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for some time. Even if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, for watching, for taking the time out of your schedule, for bearing with me through my whole ordeal for the last two and a half weeks, I appreciate it. I, it means the world to me. You guys don't even know, and I'm so glad to be back. So I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.